The year is 1978. World-renowned movie star Jack Nicholson is making his feature directorial debut, a western called Going South. Against the wishes of his producers, Jack casts up-and-coming comedian John Belushi for a minor but critical role in the film. John was best known for his stint as the Saturday Night Samurai on the hit comedy sketch show, Saturday Night Live. Both John and Jack are known as Hollywood's biggest bad boys, and both are about to meet their match. back uh how was filming filming was filming finds out what uh we have a bit of a situation all right um you see with this uh there was a uh i think well, come on get this don't make a song and dance over it you got a problem i want to help john belushi is in there right now in there yeah with a butcher knife I didn't see that coming. He's making all sorts of demands. He wants more lines. He wants more money. He hates his hotel. He wants to stay in here with you. And um, if we don't comply, he said he's going to... What he, he said he's going to... Cut our balls off. Cut our balls off. Feed them to each other. Feed them to each other. You said chop your balls off? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I like John, Whoa, 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 what are you doing? I'm gonna go talk to him. He okay. has a knife. He's a knife unhinged. that he's wielding around. Does my place look like a fucking crash pad to you? No. He's probably a little yipped up is all. Trust me. Sometimes when a man's standing on a ledge, all he needs is a little push. He meant talk him off the ledge, right? What would you do if I sang out of tune? John? You know, you don't have any snacks at all in this place. Well, that's because I find having snacks around makes guests feel welcome. Stay away from me, Jack. I've had enough of this shit. Do not get any closer. If you get any closer to me... You know, serve me a piece of apple pie. What? It's a pie-serving utensil. Yeah, but it could still do some damage. It's serrated. It has a point. I'll shove it up your ass! They said you had a butcher's knife. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they're saying all kinds of shit. Johnny boy's lost his damn mind. Ah. Who cares what they're saying? Your boys disrespected me, Jack. They put me in a sucko hotel filled with slack John, fuck-headed buckle faces. They're treating me like a fucking animal, like a monkey at the county fair. Expected to... Dance when the dirty old carny starts playing the accordion. I don't work that way, Jack. I play my own fucking accordion, and I do my own fucking dancing. Hey, can I get ahead of that? All right. Have you ever actually seen a carny playing the accordion for a dancing monkey? Not personally, but it's a thing. Doesn't matter. Real issue I have with your little outburst. Here I am, an idiot, stuck my neck out for you to get you on this film. Now, I'm supposed to act surprised that this monkey is now throwing shit in my face. I'm losing track of the analogy here. I'm an animal too. 
Hell, I spent the 60s naked on the beach, high on peach mescaline. But why can't you be more like those bears at the circus? The ones that ride their little tricycles round and have a little outfit on and smile for the audience, and then when the audience goes away, they go back to doing bear shit. Why don't you be more like the bear and get on the tricycle and let's finish this fucking film? What's wrong with the monkey dancing to the accordion analogy? You gotta go introduce a tricycle riding bear? <laughs> I fucked this up, didn't I? I did. You were my ticket out, man, a Jack Nicholson flick? Finally, I wouldn't just be seen as the Saturday Night Samurai who chops sandwiches with a samurai sword and spouting off samurai gibberish. I could have been taken seriously. Never gonna work in film now. Don't say that. It's true! No, it's not. Yes, it is! I don't... They're gonna tell everybody! You don't typically get to keep your job after you threaten your bosses with a knife! Let's play a game. Huh? Game. I want to play a game. Ask me about a story you've ever heard of me, and uh, whether it was from friends or news, and I'll tell you if it was true. And I get to ask you, and you have to tell me. All right. All right, I'll start. You and Joe Walsh crashed a hotel and had over $23,000 worth of damage. Who told you that? Joe Walsh. I didn't like the wallpaper in that place. It's understandable. You really have a tunnel going from your house to the Playboy Mansion? No. That's my uh, neighbor, Warren. He has that. <laughs> Do you really play cocaine chicken with Robert De Niro? I don't know. I don't remember. You don't remember? I don't remember. You know how many people challenge me to cocaine chicken? I don't remember if half the shit people say about me is true. There it is, John. There it is. The point of the game. We're no longer real people. We're just the shit people say about us. We're tall tales like Paul Bunyan or Paco Spill. Hmm? Who cares that they're talking about you out there? You want them talking. Doesn't matter if what they're saying is true either. They're already outside exaggerating the story. They said you had a butcher's knife. I come in, find that you look like some kind of deranged Betty Crocker with your little pie-serving utensil. And that's their story. What's ours gonna be, huh? What's ours gonna be? We're the only two people in here, John. When we leave, they're gonna want a story, hmm? What are we gonna tell them? What's ours gonna be? Two Hollywood Hellraisers stuck in a house. One with a sword. The other with a gun. I come in and say, John, you better fall in fucking line and get the hell out of my house and show up to set on time. Then you say, eat a bowl a fuck! Yeah! Eat a bowl of fuck. Then what happens?
guys had some sort of duel? Yeah, more or less. Where did he get the samurai sword? Doesn't matter. Point is, we fought it out. It's over now, we're all over it, and uh, John's sorry. Aren't you, John? What? You just tell him you're sorry. Oh, right. Deepest apologies from the bottom of my heart. See? Onward and upward, gentlemen. Let's make a movie. <laughs> you must be joking. Does it look like I'm joking? <laughs>